Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the Micromake SLA 3D printer, which is uh, is a wonderful 3D printer for accurate design. We're just going to describe the startup for the printer. Okay, so the first step is to assemble the base. Uh, we put in these two nuts. Right here. And we need to loosen these bolts on the side. This we are doing for the zero calibration. We want the printer to define its zero position. So these bolts have to be absolutely loose. We need to make it more loose so that it can move freely. I'm going to loosen these up here like this. So the base should be totally free. Okay. Like this. So this is the calibration button. We hit the calibration button and we start calibration. I'm going to start calibration. So as you can see, the platform is coming down. So the first step is the platform comes down, it hits the zero position and then we tighten the bolts and then it moves back up again. So that's how it's going to calibrate its zero position. Let's see, uh, yeah, it's almost there. And there's a limit switch on the back side. And once the limit switch hits the position, it's going to stop. So now the platform has stopped. Now we are going to tighten the bolts this is the zero position for the printer. So I'm just going to press this here and tighten the bolt. We don't want the base to be slant. So that's why we need to press the base before tightening it. Similarly, backside, you tighten the bolts in a cross position so that it doesn't tilt. And this one here and And now I'm just going to press the button OK again. And it's going to go up till 50 and then it's going to stop. Now we can assemble the tray for the resin. Uh, OK, so now we are all set for starting our printing. Just to show the other functions, we go to... So this, by this, uh, you can uh, check the position of the y-axis, where it is. It is currently at 100. If you want it to come by 1 mm, this is how you do it. If you want it to come down by 10 mm, you can press the button and it will come down by 10 mm. So these, this button switches on the ultraviolet light. This button switches off the ultraviolet light inside the machine. And this shows the pattern, the sample pattern on the screen. Okay, so okay, going back to the home screen, back to the home screen, we'll see how we select the program for printing in offline printing mode. So we are going to insert the pen drive which comes with the machine on the back side of the machine. Once the pen drive is inserted, and then We have a test model, test 1-1, which I'm going to select and click right. Now this is the selected model and we can start the printing for this. Before that, I'm going to pour in the resin. Yeah, you need to be careful and fill only the half of the tray. Otherwise, it's going to come out of the tray when the printer starts to print. Okay. Just let it rest for a while so that the bubbles are uh, gone from the surface. And 
now i'm going to start the printing to start the printing we select here and we just press play let us discuss about the software which comes along with the printer uh, there will be a folder l4 in the pen drive which comes along with the printer now in l4 we have uh, four different folders one is the slicing software the other is a software called zenith which is to add supports to the model the third folder is a uh, instruction folder it has videos for leveling the base for using the usb for online printing uh, also it has instructions for slicing and the machine operating interface uh, description uh, let's first check out the machine interface description so as you see here in this powerpoint slide uh, different buttons are explained what are the functionalities of each button for the two different screens which are available in the printer then there is this pdf document which uh, which actually shows how to use the slicing software the micromake l4 software which is accompanied with the printer and these are the different settings so i'm just going to fire up the micromake l4 software and we'll see uh, what each of these settings mean there okay so we'll start the slicing software now so here we go so the splicing software is the one which will define the parameters for the printing it's going to take a minute to fire up uh, okay it should be here now okay the first step is to add model so let's see uh, let's add the model from the desktop desktop and this is one model file dot stl file and to add it okay so this model is added here now we'll go to the slice settings to define the parameters this is the height of each layer which is the thickness of each layer for very accurate models you might even go to 0.025 mm sorry i'm just 0.025 mm and for average accuracy you might take 0.1 as the thickness here uh, for a medium accuracy model 0.05 is a good uh, value this is the time for curing of each uh, layer this you might uh, increase the time for curing to 9 or 10 seconds like this is milliseconds so you might take 9000 milliseconds or 10000 milliseconds depending on your model uh, this this ash, this setting is uh, important uh, for the starting because these are the bottom layers, the first two or three layers which are printed. Now, unless these layers are properly cured and they stick to the base, uh, the model is not going to develop properly. It might just stick to the bottom plastic and not come up along with the base. So, uh, for the first few times, you might need to make sure that you know the model is sticking for the first two or three mm. So this might have to be increased to 140 sec uh, 140 seconds maybe or maybe even 150 if your model is too small. You can also change the number of layers from two to three if required. This is the lift distance for uh, which can be defined the feed rate, the lift distance from two mm, and this is the lift feed rate from two mm. And this is the bottom lift feed rate for the first two or three layers. Uh, this is the retract rate for a normal, like if you pause it uh, in the middle, this is going to be the retract rate. And uh, yeah, so that is the only settings that you need to do here. Uh, and then we'll just gonna hit slice here. So it's gonna create a .mms file, which you would copy into the pen drive and load it into the printer. So we're just going to see that it's going to generate a .mms file uh, once you see view. So here slice preview, it's going to show us a preview of each of the layers. So as you can see, this has been divided into 481 layers and the print time is 130 minutes, which is a bit over two hours. So this is how each of the layers is going to develop for the model 
uh, which is going to create the final model completely so another software which comes with this is the zenith software which can be used to add the add the supports so let's just fire up the zenith software also and see how it works i'm just going to install that okay so this is the mms file which was generated i'm just going to fire up the zenith software Uh, okay, so I'm just going to open a model with a normal quality. Is apply, and I'm going to open the model. The model, let's the make group model. Here we go. Okay, so now this is the model which we have, and here uh, the software gives us the option to add different supports. So I'm just going to add a base plate support which is going to increase the width of the base and add a thickness at the bottom. Then also there are different supports which can be generated. The settings for the support are given here. Uh, once the supports are generated, we'll just see. Okay. So this is how the supports are going to look. but it's recommended to have a strong base so it's definitely recommended to have a base plate at all times even if you have the supports mm. okay guys so and these are the settings so once we are done with all the final settings i'm just going to save this as a model and then i'm going to save as test final stl file and then let's see here we have a test final file and now uh, we could open this file again in the splicing software generate the uh, mms file and load it into the printer so this is how you will operate the 3d printer very simple and uh, it uh, just generates very accurate and uh, precise uh, products for your models thanks guys thanks for watching goodbye